what, what Randy has developed is really one of the most innovative, uh, maybe the most innovative socket interface design that I've seen in a long, long time. I think it's really going to stand to revolutionize the field, and um, I think we're going to see this growing trend uh, over the next few years, maybe even sooner, of the field really adopting this technology. As I've, as I've seen the socket interface designs evolve over the last several years, um, we've seen some great improvements. Um, but with this particular design, um, the, the biomechanics of what Randy has developed, they make so much sense. Um, and the outcomes from patients that you know, we've seen in, in the videos, through the training, and, and the patient model from today um, are really pretty phenomenal. Um, and, and it's something that we don't see in conventional socket interface technologies. The information is great. Um, of course, I've been in the field for 13 years now, so I've, I've seen a lot of uh, new fangled things come and go, and um, I've gone to a lot of um, socket courses and, and things like that, but nothing that was, um, I guess, as fruitful as this. Nothing made as much sense as this did from the gate. I mean, I've done sub-issue, but nothing that actually allowed me to have more control of the actual femur. Um, which is a lot similar to what you would accomplish in osseo integration, but without the actual invasiveness and without having the, the uh, setbacks that you, you usually have with the, the open wound from the abutment. So um, I felt like this was the next step in the evolution of especially transfemoral socket design. I think that the image during the casting is, is, is an integral part of the actual process. Um, I, I think it's really hard to capture what you're capturing with the imager by hand. Um, for one, you can't really um, truly judge the tensions that you're putting on the soft tissue without having some gauge. Um, if you're trying to do something by hand and um, you're basically just going off a visual principle and not necessarily um, getting feedback from a patient, it would be a lot harder to make sure you're putting appropriate tensions and you're beveling things appropriately. Um, you make sure that your, your, your trim lines are going to be where you want them to be to make the most comfortable socket for the patient. So the image I feel like if you don't have it, um, you're probably not going to be able to get the best outcome from the patient. I'm not saying that you won't be able to get a good outcome, but it's going to be a lot harder um, and you're going to have to modify a lot more and it's going to be a lot more time consuming and it's going to take a lot more check cycles. So um, I think that it's definitely beneficial to have the image. So, and I think this is really a, um, a big change in socket interface design. <laughs> Um, and, and I think this is a, 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 a big improvement to what we've been fitting um, for a long time. The, you know, the theory of it is sound, and, and just from the patient that we fit today, you can really see the difference as far as the, the patient interaction or the patient, um, their, the results that they're telling us. Uh, you, you can really capture and, and almost make them feel that that limb is attached to them, what really they, they haven't had that before. Uh, traditional AK sockets don't provide that. I, I think patients are going to be excited. They're going to really like what they're seeing from it, and uh, that, that makes it more exciting for me when they, when they actually are fit with something that they're more comfortable in, uh, that they can be more active in, and that they are that they're excited to put on in the morning rather than dreading putting on their prosthesis. Kind of throw out a lot that you've learned in school and what you're taught through your, even in your experience. Um, and it's kind of a hard pill to swallow, but uh, it, it totally makes sense and I've seen the results. It's amazing. So the format was perfect. There's a little bit of hands-on, a little bit of PowerPoint, a little bit of talking, a patient demonstration, so I wouldn't have done it any differently. Uh, what interested me in the Hi-Fi socket is the new technology. Um, finding a socket system that's more consistent and that it's able to be duplicated by my brother and I and show results for our patients that they could be more active and utilize their, their componentry more effectively is exciting to me. As far as implementing it, it's fundamentally easier than most sockets as far as modifications go, but the benefits that uh, we've seen so far looks tremendously better than any socket design I've done. 
Absolutely. We have a lot of active patients and then, you know, of course, your typical diabetic patients. We have patients that have, you know, very short residual limbs and I can see how that's going to, you know, help them a tremendous amount. A lot of redundant tissue. You know, redundant tissue. <laughs> it's hard to control an AK. It has Absolutely. very fleshy tissue. So As well as different types of suspensions and gaining control of rotation and, and pin suspensions. The reason I think this course is so interesting for me is that it is an introduction into evidence-based sort of uh, prosthetics. The amount of estimation and things that were just happening blew my mind. I could, people were like, you know, take off an inch, a half inch here, an eighth inch here, and I'm like, that's, you can't measure that, you know? And I'm so used to gate labs, I worked in gate labs and measurements and things like that. So one of the nice things I think about this is it's embracing so much science behind it instead of, well, this is what's worked for me before and it kind of worked for this patient, so it's going to work for everybody, you know, but there's actual sort of proof testimonials uh, and science that I, I could absolutely understand why, as opposed to like just pushing on an area because it didn't hurt. It's basically what Randy was saying is it's like, you know, on a traditional socket, you're encompassing or encapsulating the limb in a, in a socket or a cup containing tissue Whereas this is actually actually controlling the bone and, and you're actually bearing weight um, more evenly up and down the, the, the leg and also in swing phase as well as stance phase there's a lot more control. Oh. Um, yeah, people are on, uh, the, the other big advantage is always issues with uh, uh, ischial uh, pressure or especially ramus pressure. Uh, women especially um, uh, appreciate the, the lower trim lines on the socket and at the same time you're not losing any control a lot of times on the traditional socket if you try to accommodate them and you know uh, trim the socket down what's happening is is that uh, you lose all sorts of control so it's a, it's a, it's a big trade-off so this you have both control and comfort <laughs>